guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay here at Ponies and Palms in Wellington, and today we're gonna clone a pony. This is Rico, he's a famous pony. He's won many championships, and we're gonna use the company by Viagen to do our cloning process. All right, so this is Dr. Jordan Lewis here today, and she's gonna help us do the cloning process um, using the Viagen supplies that they sent us. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll open the, the package and see what we got in here. Oh, DNA testing kit, the genetic preservation instructions. This is the Viagen unpacking checklist, repacking checklist that we're gonna um, follow. There's an ice pack in here to keep everything cold. That's very important. And then here's our, our bag that they sent us. And then let's see what's inside. The stuff we're gonna use. There's a punch biopsy. And then the other thing is our, our kit with the, the sample container should be in here. And that's where we store the tissue is in to send back to them. We have to keep everything cold. This is Leslie Butzer, the owner of Ponies and Palms. Um, and she is the owner of Rico Suave, the famous pony that we're cloning today. Right now, we're gonna do the sedation process so that we can take a biopsy sample from him that will be painless and he won't be scared. Um, so we're gonna sedate him right now and get ready for that. So we're just tying the mane up here so that um, we, act, we can shave a square underneath it to take our samples. So yeah, you can tell Rico's um, definitely under sedation right now. So this is kind of what ponies will do when they're under sedation and they just hang their neck and stand here. So we're braiding back the mane so that it's, we can have a sterile field for our biopsy samples. Um, and now Jordan's gonna clip it uh, where she wants that square to be. What a wonderful prep job here. Right now, she's scrubbing the neck to aseptically clean it. So Dr. Lewis is now doing a block on the neck using lidocaine to numb the area. We don't want Rico to feel any pain. We want this to be as comfortable as possible for him. So we're giving him sedation medications and then now locally blocking the area so he won't feel a thing. So she's holding the punch biopsy again and then the suture packet to close the um, punch biopsy site. And then these are the sterile instrument pack that we're gonna use. Um, this is just a general sterile surgery pack anyone would grab to do any sort of like surgery or procedure on an animal. So she's doing the first biopsy. Here we're just suturing close the punch biopsy site so that it heals nicely. So I'm a small animal veterinarian here with Dr. Jordan Lewis who is an equine veterinarian and an interesting fact is that dog gestation, um, their time till pregnancy takes only two months, around 63 days, and horses it's about 11 months. So we're going to be waiting 11 months um, to get the cloned baby and we're really excited about this. Dr. Lewis is doing a great job. We're finishing up on the fourth biopsy. I can hardly tell that anything happened. Rico didn't flinch. This was pain-free and relaxing for him. Um, everything is gonna heal in about one week and then Rico can go back to the show ring. The samples are gonna be put in the fridge to keep them at an optimal temperature 
so that the tissue will be viable when it gets to Viagen's company. Um, they're going to be shipped with ice packs and then we'll be notified when they get them. And Viagen is then going to take the cloning process further there in using their eggs with the cells and the nucleuses that we took from our pony Rico Suave. All right, Rico Suave did a great job for his cloning today. Thank you, Dr. Jordan Lewis, for everything. Thank you, Shayna, for helping us. Um, he's already awake. Um, we're going to give him some Vanamine, which is a pain med, and then he'll make his way back to the show ring. Stay tuned for in 11 months, we're going to be flying to Texas to see baby Rico's cloned foal. If you liked this video and got educated about cloning or you're excited about cloning animals, hit that subscribe button, share the video with your friends, and I hope to see you guys back for some more veterinary videos.